What is happening, great people of YouTube? How are you doing? We're back again with a, another back of the truck, or this time back of the trailer. Can't really see a review, but overview of my new Diamondback tool belt. So here it is. This is my new Diamondback tool belt, which is their, what they call their Raptor rig. Um, you can buy, if you're not familiar with Diamondback tool belts, you can buy each component individually. So you can buy the belt, you can buy the shoulder straps, the pouches, uh, the hammer loop, or all these kind of bits and pieces. You can obviously get accessories and all that jazz that you can uh, that you can hang on the back of your tool belt. Uh, but their rigs are designed for, or what they try and do is they try and say, right, okay, well a carpenter will use this, an electrician will use that, a plumber might use this. So they put together what they call rigs, and the rigs is basically like a, a, a package kind of deal. Um, this is the Raptor rig with a few minor modifications and to be perfectly honest the minor modifications are not really my choice um, It was basically my local distributor didn't have uh, the stuff in stock um, So first of all, um, this has got a six inch belt rather than the Raptor rig comes with a four inch belt um, I'm not entirely sure whether the four inch belt or six inch belt is better or not. I really don't know You guys can tell me um, I've never used a four inch belt. This is a six inch one like I said seem to work fine yeah it kind of belts a belt as far as i'm concerned um i appreciate obviously a wider kind of belt would i suppose spread the load a little bit more but you know i'm not really that loaded loaded up with stuff maybe if you're you know framing and carrying you know pounds and kilos of fixings it may come in handy but so far this this it, it works it does its thing um, on the left hand side, um, this is the Eagle pouch, as you can tell, Eagle pouch. Um, it, it's a very similar setup to what I've got on the right hand side with a few, again, minor, minor, minor changes, to be honest. Um, in the top, um, it's a nice little pocket and a nice little pouch. I've got my, uh, my chalk line, which has just dropped in there. This is, to be honest with you, this is, was used today. Um, so it's kind of loaded up with the stuff that I was using today. Um, speed square slot, which I love. Um, every tool belt should have a speed square slot, as far as I'm concerned. Um, inside of here, hopefully you can see them. There's a tiny little pouch in there. That's in, in, maybe good for holding screwdrivers, but for me it's fairly pointless, if I'm honest. Maybe a chisel or something like that I could slot in there. Uh, but there's a wider pouch here for uh, for fixings, which I've got bugle screws in. At the front here, um, there's another small pocket which I've used for cut lists. I found that was fairly handy. And then this one here is just what I use for uh, for general fixings. Underneath, there is a, uh, a few other pouches. So I've got a uh, just a nail punch that's slotted in there. I've used it for pencils and rulers and bits and pieces. Um, so far, I've got to be honest, it's fairly fairly tight. Uh, the material, I'm sure it'll loosen up over time. I hope it loosens up over time because um, yeah it is it is a little bit tight at the moment um this side to be honest i don't know why this is here let me show you this so this is for nail bar cat's paw whatever you want to call it maybe you know you can put a crowbar in there if you wanted to um i find this second loop totally pointless um if i'm honest because normally when i wear my tool bag it's sat like that i suppose it's an optional extra you can tuck this pouch out and have that exposed why you need to carry two i have no idea i'm sure some people may slot things in there like a speed square or or a sorry a combination square or whatever and a nail bar i don't know i'm probably not going to use that if i'm honest um that's not really my bag so i'm just going to tuck that away and leave that alone um so yeah so that's the um that's the eagle pouch on the other side if i walk around the uh this thing the shin breaker um this uh the talent pouch this is designed for tools and odds and ends and more slots and bits and pieces i've got in there a uh, stanley fat max an eight meter fat max i've always been a fat max kind of guy um this fits in beautifully in there uh the 10 meter tape though um i do use these when we do uh, larger landscaping jobs um that's lots in there but it's a little bit tight to kind of pull it in and out like i said it may loosen up over time i don't know but what i did do i just took the clip off um took the clip off and it just slots in quite nicely um the belt um just to point that out it's got lots of room for accessories so i've just put my uh laser laser la laser measure a do free thing uh at the top and a nice little pouch is still tucked away that's kind of quite nice and handy it does have a, um, a hammer loop at the back if you're the type of guy who carries around a mallet and a hammer 
uh, it's probably useful for you I may not use this myself but it's always there it's nice to be honest with you it was good today to hang drills and um, and just power tools off it if I'm honest it, it came in really handy um, inside of here I've got what have I got I've got a ruler uh, my knife my uh, my snips pen pencils all that kind of thing there's a big pouch uh, in the front which I've just kept the uh, the combination square and things inside and um, also as well smaller pouch and then a larger pouch at the front which I've just kept uh, drill bits and and all those kind of bits and pieces in um, over the other side as well, you know, there's nice kind of pockets for pencils and, and all that jazz, kind of similarly to what was uh, what was on there. Oh, and I've also got a uh, got the old crayon for uh, for marking bits and pieces that just slots in quite nicely. Um, yeah, I've got to say, it, it, I mean, so far today it, it worked an absolute charm. What I will say though is probably one of the, the biggest reasons why I bought this uh, rig um, to begin with is this hammer loop is absolute genius in my opinion um, this hammer holster is what they call it actually bolts on at the top so it bolts on via those two brackets and then underneath there is a, um, a strap that hooks up onto this in my opinion this is gold this is the one of the reasons why you would buy a diamond back tool belt because of this it's fantastic I used to use just a normal hammer loop that would tuck on the side um, or you know around the back I find it just gets annoying um, the hook kind of digs in when you bend down and your hammer ends up whacking in the back of the leg not an ideal um, an ideal setup this thing is brilliant I was up and down a ladder all day today um, it never got in the way it was always handy it's it, it's total genius absolute props to Diamondback for uh, for coming up with that idea um, at the top, you've got suspender um, straps. I'm, I've got to be honest, um, I, I didn't think I'd actually wear these suspenders. Um, but I'm a, let's say, a portly gentleman. Um, carry on a little bit around the waist. And I found, uh, I find, trying to tighten this thing up to sit on my waist properly. Um, it's a bit of a challenge because it's obviously such a large, um, a large belt. So the suspenders for me have been, yeah, been gold. Also, I've got to be honest, I wore it all day today, up and down ladders with tools and all sorts of things hanging off it and didn't notice that I'm actually wearing the thing. Once you get used to looking like you're about to jump out of a plane, it's, um, yeah, it, it, it really helped a lot today. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably never take this off if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, Diamondback do have the option of um well they do sell what they their, their suspenders they've got their basic and deluxe i think it is um they're not cheap i've got to be perfectly upfront they are not cheap these things i bought from my local bunnings uh for 35 dollars so again i don't think that's particularly cheap for uh for suspenders but i prefer to pay 35 dollars rather than 200 dollars yeah that's right 200 dollars for um for suspenders yeah um one thing i would say though is about this whole getting up and um is the price it ain't cheap um i look at this as an investment into me and my business i used to use um this um, get up here um this is my old tool belt i used to these things obviously these things are cotton they're they rip they tear um, you've got the old hammer loop on this side um, I would probably go through maybe I'd, I would say I'd probably spend 100 to 150 bucks um, on this kind of setup um, every year I'd go through one maybe every three to four months um, if I'm yeah if I'm totally honest with knives and chisels cut through them and they're not really that handy and that practical to be honest but um, the way I look at this thing is, I mean, I'll be up front, this thing cost me over $500. Yep, yeah, you heard him right, $500. The way I look at it, if I get five years out of this thing, I've, um, I've got my money back. It's, it's been a reasonable investment. If I don't, then I'll probably go back to this thing kind of on the floor. Um, yeah, it's, um, it, yeah, they don't come cheap, but obviously that's for you to decide whether you want that type of investment or not. 
so far yeah i've used it for a few days it's really comfortable it's you don't notice that it's on it takes a little bit of getting used to kind of where things are but you know like with anything new you uh you need to give it time to uh, to get used to get the muscle memory up and uh, and off you go but yeah I'd, I'd love to know whether you guys have, have looked into diving back tool belts um, yourselves i do a massive amount of research on these things before i actually go in and buy anything um yeah this thing has been yeah so far pretty good pretty good got to give it some props so there you have it there's my back of the truck back of the trailer overview um what do you guys think do you reckon 500 bucks is a bit pricey for a tool belt i mean you've got to do the math haven't you um like i said i did a massive amount of research before i bought mine five years um i need to sweat that investment for um and i get my money back I have to say though that that a few of the key reasons why I bought it was number one the durability from what I've heard is first class and uh, hammer holster is genius utter genius um the comfortable oh the comfortability is that a word we just made a word up the comfortability <laughs> of it um yeah you, you don't feel like it, you're actually wearing a, a till belt after the first 10 minutes you can I've loaded myself up today with all sorts of stuff and yeah just didn't feel like i was wearing a tool belt um yeah the, the buckles the class it feel it feels like it's bulletproof obviously you can tell by the stitching um the material that it's made out of it, it's of a high quality which you would expect if you are spending that kind of money on it um yeah you get what you pay for but again let me know in the comments below is it is this something that you would spend that kind of money on do you think i'm crazy feel free go for it you tell me um i'll also put a link in the description as well for the local distributor in australia um for this kind of stuff um otherwise they're an american based company um i know there's a, you know, i think one or two in the uk there's one in australia and there's obviously a myriad of uh distributors in the in the us but uh, there's only one in australia so far so i'll put a link in the description there go and hit the guys up i've got to say jack um, who I dealt with at the People's Tool Company was gold. Um, I didn't quite get, if I'm a total disclaimer here, I'm not sponsored by any stretch of the imagination. I didn't get quite what I was looking for because um, of just stock and I'm really impatient um, and I want, if I've made my mind up, I want it now. Um, Jack didn't have what I wanted in stock so he sent me other bits and pieces uh just to make up what i wanted and again he's been gold to do with he's been an absolute legend so yeah i think you're in uh, i think you're in good hands um with the people's tool company i really have to say but again let me know your thoughts what do you reckon is it way too much money am i crazy is it something that you would buy is it something that you would invest in let me know we'd love to hear from you um thanks again for checking out the video really appreciate it if you're new around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's just there there just give it a little tickle youtube loves it um look after yourselves take it easy and i'll see you all very soon